I'm Tim Ferry, and you're watching Underground YGO with Spidey and Kisame. Why are we still playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Why did Isaac play Yu-Gi-Oh? Why haven't we stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh? So I have an argument that I've prepared here. Why haven't you stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh? I think depending upon your introduction into the game, that reflects people's favorite cards and decks. And even with the nostalgia growing finder, they can find themselves distancing distancing themselves and resenting the game that is presented today because it's not the game that they first was introduced to. Mm -hmm. For me, it's great. I'm breaking out of my casual show. Like, I used to be, we used to play in a way where we were really playing against each other. We never really played against the outside world. So we started the channel, we started playing with other decks, and then we were kind of more casual and creative. But then, like, you really want to like, get better at the game. I like to challenge myself, and taking on that challenge of really coming back to this channel is why I made you realize why I fell in love with this game to begin with. It was a challenge, it was creating things. I love creating, that's why this channel exists, because I love creating stuff. I like writing jokes. I like, I love the ability of turning something that I made up inside of my fucking head and I can make it a reality. I can do something like, and with Yu-Gi-Oh, I can take cards that people don't like, I can take cards that people don't use, and then I can find a way to make it work. So for me to be like, oh, today's game, I haven't played in four years. I don't know what's going on today, so you know what? I'm going to take the fucking time, I'm going to take the ass whoopings and get my ass beat to fucking death by every fucking deck there is. Because when I like to play this, I like to lose. I like to strength. That's why I'm such a defensive player. I'm a defensive player because I like to so I can see every single move you can do. I want to see every step you can do. We got to do game three. So now I've studied what you can do and I've defended myself to the end of my limits to see everything you can do. Now I know how to counteract it in the next game. So I never know what to do and get in your ass. <laughs> I love doing that. And to me, it is, when I can do it with those cards, like your Nimble Mongers and your, and your Celtic Guardian, the fact that I found a way to put Celtic Guardian in a deck in 2024, I'm still like, that is an example of taking the time to learn the game and finding a way to still create things inside of my head and make it a reality. That is why I still love today's game. I love how fast it's becoming. I understand before people used to say, it's too fast, I can't understand it. To me, that's just lazy thinking. Like, you need to get out of that shit and learn where we live today. Like, that's like saying, oh, cars from 1970. Two were better than cars made today. Have you ever driven a Tesla? No, because it's too confusing. It's like when you hand an old person an iPhone. They're like, oh no, right. you jump. Yeah, all right. It's that. It's just press the button, Grandpa. That's how you order food. Where is it called? Go to the store. No, no, no. You can press buttons on your phone and your pussy shows up now. But you don't have to do that anymore. Like taking the time to like grow, evolve, get better. I love that shit. I, I, I strive to become smarter. I strive to become better. I, and with Yu-Gi-Oh, it is definitely, it encompasses all of that. Because today's so game is so bad. So is to rant about why you're still playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. Okay. And that's what I'm saying. So, like, because once I got back into it, I was, like, very nervous and shaky. But I don't understand all what's going on. And I found my way through it and learned it. It was just like, this is what I love it. Because now, you be, um, you get to, it expands and maximizes every single aspect of the game. The fact that then you can interact with every single phase of every single turn. It's like, draw phase, you can ask me, call standby phase, main phase one, battle phase, main phase two, end phase. There's so many different phases with so many different things that happen where you can negate, you can interrupt, you can pop, you can special summon, you can even sell your field to where it looks like you're summoning shit and then you like injure through a little shit because you set up everything else for the next turn. Like I love all of that shit. Now can that now for me to tag in? Yeah, go ahead. Alright. <laughs> now for the reason why I love this game. For me, I already could tell you I like, can never win, so I collect. <laughs> man's not wrong. <laughs> It's not wrong. <laughs> See, I'm the type where it's like, I know my weakness as a Yu-Gi-Oh player. I'm casual. I know I like crap. I'm like, And I don't like to be forced to play meta. Because a lot of the recent meta to me is all these wee girl-looking cards. And it's just, it's just that they're very, like, they try to, like, make, like, I'm going to make zombie ballerinas. It's like, I don't really care. And, like, if the deck doesn't appeal to me as a person... Because I always like my decks to represent me and my core. And if they don't either represent me by their visual aesthetic, I want them to represent me by their play style. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I can't get past an, like, a, like a deck's visual, or sometimes I'll fall in love with a deck 
for years. I'll be using a deck for fucking years, and I'll run that deck through the mud. So after a while, I started to like start getting a little bitter because obviously it's like you know you consistently lose with what you love, so it makes you feel like shit. And that's why I feel like a lot of people probably just quit because they're like, I just don't want to play this. I'm not gonna shell out just to pay to win because I don't really care if I'm not playing what I like. Me personally, what I like in this game, why I'm still playing in this game, is because I am a collector in this game. Like, look at this. Me and Spidey went to the convention. I got this signed by the voice actor of mine. This is a Forbidden Memories, Hoppy's Pet Dragon, Metal Raiders First Edition, Hoppy Lady. You know, all these things are, like, iconic. Like, I love iconicness in the game. And I strive to eventually, one day, have this fucking groundbreaking Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. And I'll tell you this, I, bit by bit, I want to say I'm probably within the top 50, maybe best collectors in the whole fucking world. Uh, no, maybe in general. I don't know. If, I don't know. Maybe that's a stretch to say. But I really think that I am a, an extremely, like, crazy Yu-Gi-Oh collector and I feel like that's yeah I feel like that's where I shine because I have never seen maybe like two people my whole life that I have ever seen their collection where I'm like I gotta give it to you you better you better and that's like Asian sensation and maybe like another like person but like I what is that their name or is that what you call no it's a thing is you said that it's just so casual Yeah. 
Because yeah. even going to a collective part of mind you, I didn't think there would even be a lot of fucking people there. And that shit was packed. Like, you see, like, you know what you just said? Like, to me, it's like, if I would have went to you at, at any other point in my life, and let's just say I pushed myself to you, you know, so much, and I went to you and I turned to you, and I was like, Evan, do you think I'm the best you know, player you ever faced? You would be like, fuck no. No matter how good I tried in that game to stand out in that round, I would have never been. But to be fair, a win's a win. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, anybody. Some, yeah, yeah. Anybody. But something like that, everyone can do. And that is where I shine. That is my skill. That's where I can fucking outshine everybody. And that's why I'm still fucking here. Microphone prop. <laughs> so, that's our passion, showing in the videos and saying why we're still here 10 plus years later. Like the video, comment down below. Like Check out my Instagram, see how cool I really am. You can hear me with spirit. Whack! He caught this guy's a loser. What? This guy's a loser. Um, yes, comment down below, let us know what you think. Comment down below why you're still playing, why you have left the game, but still watching our channel. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Click that bell for notifications if you are old. That way you will always update when we upload future content to this channel. All of our personal accounts, Discord server, Mass these are in the description down below. We need a lot to check that out. And then we have two previous videos that you may not have seen. Go check those out. Bye. All right. Awesome. He did fantastic. Hey, this is Kaiba. Listen, Kasame.